Hi, I'm Chris and I am a food allergy caregiver to my son um, and also after he was diagnosed became a food allergy patient. Um, I have five food allergies. Hi, my name is Colin. I'm a sixth grader and I'm allergic to tree nuts, peanuts, coconut, dairy, sesame, eggs, beef, soy, chickpeas, peas, lentils, lima beans, millet, and spelt. And I have a condition called EOE, eosophagenic esophagitis. I've been conscious of my food allergies since I was probably three, since I could walk and remember things. I've been doing EpiPen trainings and I've been able to carry self-carry and self-administer since the age of eight. So I think as the years have gone on, I've become more confident that it's manageable. I don't know that I could say I'm calm because over the years I've had periods where I get comfortable and that's when I feel like sometimes I let my guard down and unfortunately every couple few years we have an anaphylactic episode that reminds me that it's important to stay vigilant but that doesn't mean fearful and that means that we can actually have a life, a great life, do amazing things um, but do that with the knowledge that we can be safe and with that vigilance that's required to have a food allergy in our community right now. I think the best tool to combat food allergies is not exactly epinephrine, but the under, people's mind and understanding how, how the process is and just if everybody was aware and not, it's not like they don't have to eat the food, but to just be more aware and if we could just kind of coexist in that way. So there's, there's one thing that I could do right now in the community it would probably be helping other parents understand what it's like to walk in our shoes and that we're not trying to complicate the birthday party or ruin the, the, the classroom celebration because our child has a food allergy. For us, it's about inclusion and we wouldn't want to have a classroom of children go to a playground if the child in the wheelchair couldn't go. Um, similarly, we don't want to have a party where there's going to be food there that could be life-threatening. So if we could just have the compassion and understanding and a focus on inclusion for our kids with food allergies, it is a hidden condition, so they don't show it on the outside, but it's very serious and very life-threatening, and I would never want someone else's child to be at risk because of something that I did. So it's just a little message to the moms out there. Please help us out. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>